Hello friends, I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create an interactive dashboard without using macros. So, let's first walk through the information from which we have to create the dashboard. I got the assignment to evaluate the technical and commercial bids for some bidders. For technical evaluation, I had basically 10 parameters against which I have assigned the marks based on the technical performance of bidders and the technical analysis had the total weightage of 70 so I have multiplied the total sum of parameters with 0.7. In a similar way financial had the total weightage of 30 so I had multiplied the financial with 0.3 and then I calculate the accumulative sum containing both technical and financial marks. The next step is to represent this information in the form of dashboard. So let's start creating our dashboard. First we have to make drop down list. Now let's say binary place is the company which is not actually the bidder but the one against which we have to do the benchmarking for the remaining bidders. So I will consider this information in a separate manner and for the other bidders I will do the separate analysis. So let's select this list of bidders, press Ctrl C, move to the other sheet, paste this information by pressing Ctrl V. Let's go to formulas, in formulas go to define name, again press on define name and then give this range a name. So I am going to type here bidders and press ok. Let's rename this sheet as extra because we do not need it anywhere again in our data. So I am going to give it a name extra and let's hide it from the main menu. Right click on it and in the dialog box click hide. Now open an other sheet and let's rename it as dashboard. Now go to insert take shapes and from here I am going to pick the rectangle shape. Now it is up to you then how many width of the dashboard you seem appropriate for your information okay. So let's begin with designing and then we will see that how much space in terms of height and width we need to accommodate our information. So let's start drawing our shape from row 1 and let's extend up to row 5 and I am also taking some space from here and then leave the cursor. Now click on the shape, go to shape fill and from here I am going to select black color and I also want to add the tint of orange. So again go to shape fill, go on the options of gradient and from the gradient dialog box go to more gradient options. Click on gradient here and I just want two sections so I am going to remove remaining click on the section and press delete from keyboards this section I want in dark orange and for this I want colored black and instead of linear I am going to choose radial so I think this is good okay now click on insert go to text box option and then draw a text box and now I am going to give it a name I am going to type fintech nexus and I want the font as Callisto, Callisto MT let's select and I am going to give it a font size of 44 and then change the color to white and click on the text box go to drawing tools in the shape fill select no fill and from the shape outline select no outline okay and now I want a small silverish tint below my main menu go to insert select shapes and again select rectangle and this time I am going to draw a small rectangle a light gray tint and for the shape outline I am going to use no outline. So this is the basic designing and you can do it as you like. Next comes our main part. So here I want to draw the drop down list. So for the drop down list go to developer tab and in the insert options go to ActiveX control combo box. Click on it and draw this combo box here. I think this size is enough. Then right click on it and go to properties here. Let's change the back color to light gray. Okay and then let's change the font to Callisto empty. 
and I am going to use 12 press ok and for the linked cell I am going to link a7 so I am going to type a7 and for the list fill range we have to enter the name that we assigned to the list of bidders that was the name bidders I hope you remember when I assigned the name by using the define manager so this was the name that I assigned that time. So you are supposed to give that name or the list in the list fill range. Okay and then we have to tell that how many rows we want to see in one go. As I have total of 10 companies so I want to see 10 companies all together when I click on the drop down list. And then I want to see the option select at the start. Close the dialog box. Close the design mode and here you can see our drop down list is working perfectly okay our next task is to show the marks obtained against technical parameters so go to sheet 1 and copy these technical parameters name press ctrl c and let's just paste them as transpose right click on it and select the transpose option this is our transpose option widen the column f and I don't want to see it color format so go to home on the fill option select no fill on the font color option select black and left align it and I don't want to use bold so I am going to remove it next press alt o r e this is basically used to adjust the raw height so I am going to type here 22 now our task is to obtain the marks here let's first convert it into known table format go to table tools click on convert to range and convert it into the normal range okay we don't need table here so in the dashboard i am going to apply formula of index and match to get marks here let's type index and from sheet 1 select the complete technical parameters range and press f4 then insert comma and type match go to dashboard sheet and from here select a7 and let's fix it by pressing f4 and from sheet 1 we have to match it from the list of bidders so select it again press f4 and insert 0 for the exact match then again type match go to dashboard sheet and then we have to match the technical kpi so select it and then go to sheet 1 and here select the headers of kpis then press f4 insert 0 close the parenthesis of match function and close the parenthesis of index function and press enter and let's just drag it down and here you can see we are getting the marks so for cyber nimbus it is 2778 let's check it from here for cyber nimbus it is 2778 this means we are correctly extracting the marks from our mark sheet now our next task is to draw the charts in this case i am going to draw the star chart to represent the marks obtained out of 10 for this purpose go to insert let's first select the range go to insert in the insert option go to charts and we have to select this 2d bar chart okay then click on the chart right click on it choose select data option and here in the add give the series name as max range and every technical parameter has 10 marks as max so i am going to type 10 here press ok move it to the top by clicking on this move up arrow and press ok now click on insert go to shapes and let's pick this star draw the star here and from the shape fill give it orange color shape outline no outline now copy it and just paste it here and let's give the color to second star a light gray okay so pick this one orange and control V here then again select the star press control C then come to the chart area and press ctrl v now double click on this star and go to fill options and here you will find the option of stack and scale width click on it and double click on this star and again check the stack and scale width options okay next go to this 
option drag it to 100 and also drag the gap width to 0 okay close the parenthesis now you can see we are seeing the 12 at the y-axis i want to change it to the maximum 10 value so click on this plus sign go to axis options go to more options and from here let's select 10 now close this dialog box click on the axis and press delete from keyboard in a similar way click on this axis and press delete from the keyboard press again press on plus sign and remove the grid lines okay okay now stress it upward and also stress it downward so that it can start touching the outer boundary now let's resize it okay click on the outer boundary go to format select the option shape fill no fill shape outline no outline okay so one star chart is ready from our side let's check it let me select pixel groove code craft and here you can see that the stars are changing colors according to the marks assigned okay now we have to do the same procedure for all these technical kpis let me create this star chart for all these options now in order to draw these star charts for all the options what you have to do select the chart and press ctrl c then click on anywhere press ctrl v now drag it below the other stars and then right click on this option go to select data here uncheck the previous kpi go to add give the series a name of new series and in the range select this range and press ok and from here also press ok now pick this star and paste it here double click on it and go to the fill options and select stack and scale with close this dialog box then click on this plus sign go to axis options and select more options and from here select 0 to 10 if you even see 0 to 10 written here you are supposed to change it to 0 and 10 again close this dialog box click on these numbers that you are seeing within the graph press delete from the keyboard and for the y column also select the label and press delete from the keyboard now your this chart is also ready to work let's check it by changing to different bidders names so you can see here all your charts are working perfectly so now i have created all the star charts here and you can see they are working perfectly okay so our next task is to decorate our first dashboard which is of technical evaluation so let me remove stars from here and let's give it black color and i am going to take a picture of it by using a snipping tool i will show you why i did this so let me just take the snap of this option and let me save now i am going to give all these a black color okay and i am also going to change them to black font with no borders now i am going to paste a picture here let's bring this picture here to cover the complete dashboard area and let's go to color and from here i am going to choose this orange option then click on the picture right click on it and select send to back okay let's just minimize it now i am going to insert the picture of options bring it here okay then i am going to draw an orange line first draw the line this is all just decoration of your dashboard okay you can do as many things as you like now let me give it an orange color and for the weight i am going to select three points then again go to shapes and here i am going to draw a shape let me give it a color black then go to shape effects 3d options go to 3d options then 3d format and from here i am going to select the material this and for the lighting i am going to select this close it from here right click on it and select send to back then again right click on the main picture and select send to back okay let me crop this section because i am not liking this silverish line now here i want to show the parameters of the benchmarking company so this is our binary place so i am going to copy 
this header from here go to the dashboard and go in the empty area anywhere below your dashboard and click pay special as transpose i am going to reverse its order because when we draw chart from these options it will automatically reverse the order so let me type here numbers and let me just link the options here with sheet one let's select it press enter So now we have to sort these KPIs on the basis of these numbers. So select this number range, go to data and go to sort. Let's sort it. Expand the selection and select sort. Okay, now we don't need these numbers. Get the accumulative marks here from these. Okay, and you can see that these numbers are coming from sheet one. Now let's quickly draw the chart select the range go to insert tab select this 2d bar chart and here we are seeing technical kpis on the y-axis and their corresponding marks on the x-axis so let's remove the title because we don't need it and let's just go to format shape fill no fill shape outline no outline now let's just drag it on our dashboard area i am going to resize it and now let's go to home and let's give it 10 size and from the font color i am going to change it to white and for the lines i am going to change the color so i'm going to format and from the shape fill i am going to use orange color click on positive sign and uncheck these grid lines and now again go to this cumulative sum let me type here 70 as total marks of technical evaluation and let me just copy this here select the range go to insert and then choose donut chart from here so i am going to remove the chart title and let's double click on the chart area and angle of first slice i am going to change it and now let's add some explosion this too much let me reduce it from here and let's increase the tonnet hole size to change it a bit and let's make it a plumpy tonnet now remove this and i want to show the data label i don't want to see it but i want it to appear here just click on the line and remove it and let's just change the font size give it a white color click on donut chart go to format select shape fill no fill shape outline no outline and let's just drag it over here because we are using its technical marks as a standard while these marks can be changed after discussions with the bidders so this is a changeable parameter but this information will remain the same because we have assigned binary blaze numbers on the basis of their pre-established reputation okay so i also want to change the color of this blue section so let's go to fill options let me drag it here select the donut section go to shape fill go to solid fill and i want to fill it as light gray and let's go to this orange section and for borders we have different options as well so i'm going to use solid line as border and for the solid line i am going to choose dark orange and we can increase the width of outline as well okay and let's just remove it from here so this is our donut and i am going to add a label here for this go to insert select shape i am going to type here binary blaze check different font sizes i think 36 is reasonable so let's just drag it let's change the color go to format go to shape fill go to this one shape outline we don't want any outline and i want to give it a gradient so go to shape fill again go to gradient options and here i am going to choose this and the donut i am going to show here bring it forward right click on it and select bring to front okay now here you can see that although i reverse the order here you can see 
the top KPI was dedicated sessions. But when I drew the chart, you see dedicated sessions is at the bottom. So now I hope you understand why I sorted the KPIs in the descending order. Now we have to make the buttons over here. So I'm going to use insert shapes. You can use this rectangular shape with round edges. Click on it and let's quickly make some buttons over here. I am going to give it a name. Technical format it quickly. Go to home 20. Select select this and let's just give it a color light orange and go to format shape outline no outline and let's give it a gradient touch okay so this is a technical button then we want financial evaluation button just copy it by pressing ctrl c and paste it financial and just give it any other color i am going to give it this color and let's check if we have good gradient for this this is our financial button then press ctrl c and ctrl v and then at a later stage we will have the ranking option let's type here ranking so this is basically the structure of our main dashboard now i want to draw another donut here which will show the accumulative sum obtained from these kpis so for this purpose i am going to do an additional work again we have to apply a formula here let me type index go to sheet one we have to get the total technical marks so select this range okay press f4 then insert comma type match and here you know that our company name actually exists in a7 at the back of this picture okay so i am going to type a7 here and let's press f4 then insert comma and i am going to match it with these press f4 insert comma place zero close the parentheses of match function and close the parentheses of index function okay so we are getting here this okay so if i choose here the name of the company let's suppose i change it to pixel groove then you can see we are getting here 35.7 so let's see what is pixel groove is giving here the first is pixel groove and its total is 35.7 okay so the total marks are out of 17 so i am going to use this range select it go to insert go to donate chart options and again i am going to remove chart title here remove this like the chart area format shape fill no fill and shape outline no outline okay now let's just double click the chart area press ctrl 1 go to this fill option and let's just change the color to gray and for the orange i again want the border line that is solid line and let me increase its size i also want to see the labels so i am going to select the labels option drag it at the middle now let's increase the size give it white color click on this tiny line and select delete from keyboard and now let's just move it over here change the company name the stars also gets changed and the cumulative marks also appears here so this is how the technical section of your dashboard will work so i hope you learned many things today and for the financial and ranking part i will upload the part two of this video because they also need some formulas and covering them in this video will make this video lengthy and boring so if you like the today's video then don't forget to hit like if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe to it and stay tuned for the second part of this video because i will cover many more interesting formulas in that video that will help you to create outstanding dashboards for your requirements okay so this is all for today thank you for your time stay blessed have a good day